Oh, hi! I didn't see you guys there. He has got me, uh... You know, my throat was feeling a little bit dry. Just had to quench my thirst. Oh my god, that line is incredible! That is the... That is one of the greatest lines I have ever heard in my... That is one of the greatest lines I have ever heard... Oh, this background dialogue... This background, these background, these background lines are amazing. Who is she talking to? Oh, I love, I love these background di this background dialogue. Anyway, yeah, let's. Uh, Let's actually do something this episode. I'm looking for Morden Solus. Do you know where I can find him? The Solarian Doctor? Last I heard, he was trying to help plague victims in the quarantine zone. I always liked Morden. He's as likely to heal you as he is to shoot you. Well, sounds like quite a doctor. What can you tell me about him? Used to be part of the Solarian Special Tasks group. He's brilliant and dangerous. No Just wonder she likes him. Talking. He never shuts up. If you really need to find him, take a shuttle to the quarantine zone. No guarantee they'll let you in, of course. Thanks for the information. Yes. Just try not to bring the plague back with you. That is a fair concern. You want to talk? Talk to Arya. One night with Arya. That's all it'll take. Yeah, if she likes him, then he must be something pretty special, really. Yeah, yeah. Hush up. Yeah, Batarians are slavers. They have a uh, cast system. Sorry, dude. End is not. Complaining is pointless, human. There's a plague. Nobody gets in or out. You can't keep me out. I live in there. I'm doing you a favor, lady. If you go in, the guards will cut you down. You can't do this. Everything I own is in that apartment. Oof. I Rough. told you to get lost, lady. The plague has the whole zone quarantined. Nobody gets in. I'm human, you ass. Humans can't get the plague. Now let me get my uh -oh. stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in till the plague has run its course. So you're saying the slums are completely sealed off? Finally, a human that can hear. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. You can't keep me out. I'm gonna lose all my stuff. I'm doing you a favor, human. Anybody in the quarantine zone will be dead from the plague of the gangs in a few weeks. I didn't think Omega right. had any kind of law enforcement. Who gave the order to quarantine the slums? Fresh off the transport, huh? Arya Tilok calls the shots around here. She's got her little blue hands on every business in this district. And a plague is bad for business. She hired us to keep anyone from entering or leaving the quarantine zone. Makes sense. Yep. Yeah. You want to keep a plague from spreading, obviously. There's a Solarian named Morden Solis in the slums. I've got to get in there to find him. The doctor? Yeah, crazy bastard opened a clinic in the district a few months ago. The Blue Suns weren't too happy when he moved in. I hear Morden's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck, but the area is still locked down. Our orders are to wait until either the plague or the Blue Suns kill everyone. Then go in and clean up. Tell me more about this plague. It starts out as a cough, then you start coughing blood, and, well, then I shoot you. It affects multiple species, Turians, Solarians, Krogan, you name it. Only humans are immune. 
and Vorcha, if you count them. An airborne disease yeah. that takes down multiple races? Can't let that spread. Hence the quarantine. Curious? I didn't think diseases could cross species barriers. Turians and Salarians can't even eat the same food. Right. Most people figure that it has to be synthetic. Somebody engineered it. And it either got loose, or they're testing it here. And seeing as how humans are immune to the plague and doing a fair bit of looting, a lot of people think humans made it. What? That's impossible. Humans wouldn't do that. I mean, what kind of sick, twisted person would do that kind of... Oh, right, Cerberus would probably do it. Yeah, that does sound like the kind of thing Cerberus would do, honestly. Who are the Blue Suns? Mercenary gang that runs the district. At least they used to. The guys are mostly Turian. I heard the plague hit them pretty hard. Now the whole district is up for grabs. I hear the Vorcha are making a move. The plague can't hurt them. Immune to disease. Just one more reason you don't want to go in there. Any idea where I can find Morden's clinic? Not a clue. What do you care? Place is quarantined, remember? Yep. Listen, you're stuck here till this quarantine's over. That could take weeks. What you really need is to get this problem solved right now. That's what I do. Solve problems. Let me in and I'll get this district straightened out. You think you can fix this? Why not? Quarantine is more to keep infected people in anyway. I'll radio ahead, tell them you're coming in. Wait, you're stopping me, but not them? You son of a bitch. You don't have a grenade launcher, lady. Get lost. Good point. humans are immune to the plague. Seemingly. There are two non-human squad mates you can potentially have at this point. You are able to bring them in. If you do, they actually do catch the plague. Just... So I'm going with the story thing. Zaid's still getting uh, dealing with his stuff. So I'm going to bring Miranda and Jacob. Yeah. Uh, oh, hey. Biological weapons expert. Light weapons training with Solarian special tasks group. Dr. Morden Solis is a Solarian biological weapons expert whose technology may hold the key to countering collector attacks. He is currently operating a medical clinic in the slums of Omega. Ah, there's something I should mention. Loyalty. So, you may have noticed, uh, for in the... Well, yeah. Overload, Overload Warp Slam. And, uh... Jacob's the same. He's got pull incendiary ammo and barrier. So... There... Uh, so later in the game, you will get missions that you can do to secure uh, squad mates loyalty, which unlocks their uh, their final power, their final ability. Yeah, he does uh, weapon shotgun, so I could get I could have bought him the Gath shotgun, but eh. and then Zaid has uh, self snipe rifles and sniper rifles, so again I could have gotten him the Matic. Or a sniper rifle upgrade, but meh to all of it. I forget. On it. That said, shotgun right. is what he should be wielding. Because that's what he does. And uh, I suppose before I continue. Oh, right. I uh, just read this, uh, I guess. Into 
the quarantine zone and search for more more than the list. Don't shoot, they're clear to come in. Thank you. Would have been a shame to have to kill you guys. Good luck in there. Blue suns and vorture shooting anything that moves. Well, unfortunately for them, I can shoot back. Gozu District. They've seen it. Trying to keep the plague from spreading. All right, and here, here is the other uh, the other uh, sort of mini game for resource uh, for well, attack. Find matching code segments. Locate and select the code that matches the code displayed at the top left corner of the screen. Avoid red codes, find all matches before time runs out to hack through security. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty, pretty straightforward. And, uh, obviously, I mean, you can see how it works there. <laughs> is there anything I can do for you? Get away from me, human. <laughs> Your kind has done too much already. Uh. Your plague did this to me. <laughs> Your faint pity is the final insult. Humans didn't create this plague. Lies trip from your mouth. Like the blood from my source. The nice proof imagery. Is there for all to see. <laughs> Your species is the only one that does not succumb to the virus. <laughs> Yours and the wretched Vorcha. I need to find Morden Solace. Humans looking for the human sympathizer. <laughs> I hope the Vorcha burn Morden and his clinic to the ground. <laughs> I hope you. I hope. Damn it. Damn you. Hey, stay with me. This won't cure the plague, but it might help a bit. Yep, I'm a nice person. Even after his accusations. I could help. Oh, you. You help me. Why? Because I could. Yep. It's, you know, it's a Spider Man thing. With power comes responsibility. If I have the power to help, I have the responsibility to help. It's what I do. I don't know if I can find a cure for this plague, but I'm gonna try. Your words sound... sincere. <laughs> Maybe it's the fever. But as you said, what have I to lose? I didn't say what that. Do you wish to know? Why are you so convinced humans are behind this outbreak? The plague is too potent to be a naturally occurring virus. Airborne transmission across numerous species, near perfect mortality rate, it had to be created in a lab. Weird and since humans are the only species not affected, there is only one logical conclusion. Aren't the Vorcha immune Unfortunate. To the what if they spread the virus so they could take over the district? Vorcha are immune to disease. <laughs> 
a human created plague wouldn't affect them. But if the Vorcha created the plague, why wouldn't it affect humans? Good Besides, point. The Vorcha aren't smart enough to make a virus like this. They're scavengers. <laughs> Sorry, human. <laughs> you may not want to believe it, but all the evidence points to your species. He has an unfortunate point. You were talking about Vorcha earlier. Before the quarantine, the Blue Suns controlled this district. But as their numbers fell to the plague, Vorcha moved in. The Blue Suns are fighting to protect their territory. But as the plague spreads, it's only a matter of time until the Vorcha overwhelm them. I need to find Morden Solus. He has a clinic on the far side of the district. He's taking in refugees. Offering to help those infected with the plague. I was afraid to go to him before. He is dangerous, but perhaps he can help. What makes Morden worse than dying from the plague? The Blue Sons tried to press him for protection money. He killed them, stunned them with some kind of toxin, then gunned them down. He's not just a doctor. Doctors don't execute people and display the bodies as a warning. <laughs> Yeah, that does seem like the kind of thing that, uh, that violates the spirit of the Hippocratic Oath. On the other hand, he's a Slayerian. He wouldn't have a Hippocratic Oath. When I find Morden, I'll tell him about you. If he has a cure, I'll make sure someone gets it to you. <coughs> Thank you. My time is running short, but at least you have given me a flicker of hope. To brighten the darkness of my final hours. I Glad to die. <coughs> Whatever Morton is, I will risk it if he can reach me. I should go. Goodbye, human. It feels good to help. Also, it feels good to help people. But also, wow, Morton sounds pretty hardcore. Looks like he tried to claw his way out. No one wants to die trapped like an animal. Yeah, poor guy. Nothing in here aside from information. Starting with a little bit of denial there. Nobody's even come by to check on us. Never thought the blue suns would turn their backs on me. This group used to stand for something. When I get out of here, I'm gonna make them pay. Still a little bit delusional. I still suffer in denial. Davis died last night. He's still talking to me, though. Good to hear his voice. The company is nice. Nobody should die alone. I will say... This particular mission... Hits different. Uh, given, you know, we still have COVID going on. Hearing all these people cough, like, I'm not gonna lie, it is a little bit triggering.
Like, it makes me uncomfortable hearing the people coughing. And, uh, uh, yeah. No map, uh, once you, uh, start these missions. He wasn't coughing, so maybe he wasn't sick, but... I mean, times like this, it's understandable why they would be... Yep. You know, freaking out and... explosions are fun in this game. Uh, I don't think there's anything particularly... That kit, which gives me some credits. Some credits. This is also, you know, this also has potential as a place for, uh, you know, sniping enemies from above and all that sort of thing. But... Chill, people, chill. Oh, thank God, you're human. We saw that door open, we thought those Turians had found us. Yeah, it took them a few seconds to realize, uh... To realize that, but okay. Ever since this plague started, the Blue Suns have been out to get us. They're killing as many people as the disease. Why are the Blue Suns hunting you? We didn't do anything. Pretty much every non-human in the district wants us dead. They think we caused the plague. Humans aren't getting sick, and that's all the evidence they need. God knows how many of us they've already killed. They should be looking at the Vorcha, not us. Ever since the plague hit, they've been taking over Blue Sun's territory. What else can you tell me about the plague? When did it start? 
The first cases cropped up about two weeks ago. Nobody paid much attention until it started to spread. Usually takes about a week to kill you, but it spreads fast. Three days after the first outbreak, there were over 50 known cases. That's when everyone noticed humans weren't getting sick. Then the quarantine came down and everything went to hell. Any idea how the victims contracted it? Not sure. Probably airborne. Even after the Blue Sun started sealing victims up inside their own apartments, the plague kept spreading. Now they just gun victims down and burn the bodies in the streets. Doesn't seem to be helping, though. People are dying by the dozens. You said That's the Vorcha moved in just after the plague hit? Right after the district was quarantined. Vorcha are immune to diseases, so they're not getting sick. Not sure where they came from. Never saw many Vorcha around before. Sure seemed like they were ready for this. Only Curious. Only thinks the Vorcha are smart enough to create a virus like this. The Blue Suns need someone else to blame. Like us. You said the Vorcha were taking over Blue Suns territory? Trying to. The Blue Suns don't go down easy. The plague softened them up, but they still have enough firepower to hold some of their turf. The Turians are getting pushed back. The deeper you go into the district, the more Vorcha you'll see. Unless they see you first. Tell All me right. more about the Blue Suns. No problem. They're a mercenary gang, mostly Turian. Used to run this district. Kept things nice and stable for the most part. As long as you paid your monthly protection fees, everything was cool. Rates were pretty reasonable. For Omega, at least. <laughs> this damn plague hit. Everyone started dying. The Vorta started moving in. The Blue Suns lost control and the whole district turned into a war zone. I don't know, there's something... I, there's something I find amusing about her talking about... I need to find Morden Solus. Oh yeah, him. He's got a clinic on the other side of the district. About Are reasonable protection rates. Now, trying to help plague victims. Offering protection from the Suns and the Vorcha. Sure. A doctor with military-grade mechs helping people for free. On Omega, grow up. Hey. <laughs> oh, she gave him some stink guy. Sounds like you don't think much of the doctor in his clinic. The Vorcha tried to muscle in. He gunned them down. Just like that. Pop, pop, pop. Didn't even use his mechs. Then the Blue Sense heard he was sheltering humans and they went to burn down the clinic. He killed them too. Then he went inside and got back to work. He's cold. Must be Solarian Special Forces or something. Does definitely sound like the kind of person I want on my team. You can't stay trapped in this apartment. If you get to Morden's, you might at least survive until the quarantine ends. Are you nuts? We'd never make it. The streets are crawling with Blue Suns and Vorcha. We don't even have pistols. Besides, I'm not risking my life on a rumor that some Salarian might offer me sanctuary. I know you're scared, but your only hope is to get to Morden's clinic. I'm going to be under fire from the Blue Suns and the Vorcha, so I can't take you with me. But I promise you this. I'll do what I can to leave a safe path for you to follow me. It's risky, but I think it's your only chance. Okay. All right. You're right. We'll never make it if we stay here. We have to try. We'll wait here for a while and give you time to clear the way. Then we'll head for Morden's clinic, if we're lucky. Maybe we'll meet you there. Good luck, guys. Anyway, I uh, hope you don't mind. I'm just going to steal some stuff from you. Ooh, 4,000 credits. I'm just going to steal your money. We'll wait here until you've cleared the path. When the fighting dies down, we'll head to Morden's clinic. Make sure you clear a good path for us. I don't want to get shot on the way to Morden's clinic. You'll be fine. You think I'm going to leave anybody standing? This is valuable. Assault rifle damage upgrade. Useless for me, unfortunately, but. Charge him up! Shotgun! Ah!
Can't get these guys Enemy up. Enemy down! into Vulture territory. The Blue Suns have given a up a lot them. of turf. That doesn't bode well for them. Yeah, there's a lot more of them than I was uh, expecting there. Uh, it's a tougher fight than I was uh, expecting, honestly. I'm used to these fights honestly being kind of easy. It's been a long time since I played uh, this game. So this conversation can be kind of funny. You'll see why in a second. Hey, what did I say? We found this stuff. It's ours. Ah, forget it. Nothing but junk in here. This place is worse than the last one. What are you doing in this apartment? Did you kill that Turian? What, the guy on the floor? Nah, the plague took care of him. We're just here to take a full accounting of all his worldly possessions. Stealing from the dead. That's pretty low. What's the big deal? Uh -huh. It's not like they're gonna miss anything. We're just showing a little entrepreneurial spirit. The plague doesn't affect humans, so we might as well cash in. Besides, if we don't take this stuff, the Vorcha or Blue Suns will. Better us than them, right? Yeah, so... So, yeah, it's never being like, oh, I don't like looters. Very hypocritical. No more looting. Oh, what? You're gonna shoot us? <laughs> this plague won't last forever. When the Blue Suns come back, they won't like you looting in their territory. Yeah, well, maybe they won't find out. 
It's not like there's any witnesses alive to tell him. Are some dead Turian's trinkets and a handful of credits worth that risk? We just wanted to make a bit of quick cash. But when you put it like that, it doesn't sound like such a good idea. Hardly found anything valuable anyway. Yeah, you're probably right. It's not worth it. Do you know a Solarian good for named Warden Solace? Yeah, I know him. Got a clinic right around the corner. Take plenty of ammo if you go that way. It's crawling with blue suns and Voitcher. What else can you tell me about the plague? I don't know. Started about a week ago, I think. Aliens started dying off left and right, and they quarantined the district. Figured we had to look out for ourselves. Started scoping out some apartments, taking what we could carry. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Guess we didn't really think it through. What do you know about the Vorcha? The Blue Suns used to keep them down. But with all the Suns getting sick, the Vorcha are making a push to take over the district. I don't know who's gonna come out on top. We just want to stay the hell out of the way. Good way of living. The Blue Suns control this district, right? Well, they used to, before the plague wiped half of them out. Seems like it won't be long until the Vorcha finish them off. Yeah, I'm kind of sorry to see them go. Blue Suns ran a tight ship, kept the district in line for the most part. Yeah. Well, at least they were... At least the Blue Suns are reasonable uh, criminal gang. Tell me everything you know about Morden Solus. That guy is crazy. He'll patch up a gunshot wound for free, then kick your ass and throw you out when you try to grab a few painkillers. Be honest, man. You kind of had that coming. No kind way of. he's just a doctor. No doctor puts down a Blue Sun squad like that. All I know is if you go to his clinic, don't cause any <laughs> trouble. I like that. I like that even the guy's friend is like, nah, you had it coming. You deserve getting your ass kicked. We need to get going. Yeah, sure. We'll just stay here for a while, get some rest. Don't worry, you made your point. We ain't gonna steal nothing. These are actually pretty nice apartments. Yeah, like, this is... This is a nice apartment. I suppose not much of a kitchen. There doesn't seem to be a kitchen in this place, actually. Unless this is the kitchen. Which, I don't know. Maybe kitchen through there or something like that. Oh no, here's the kitchen. So it's definitely a small kitchen. Uh, eh. Yeah. Yeah, it is a small kitchen. Not much space. Uh, I think, honestly... More counter space than the kitchen my mom has now, which, uh... Which is unfortunate, because my mom always used to love cooking, and... The kitchen in her current apartment is just so small. Impossible to do any cooking there. Anyways. Look. We have arrived. Hostiles are clear. Thank you, Jacob. No funny business once you're in the clinic, unless you want to deal with those mechs. Yeah, they're not a threat. The Blue Suns knew better than to mess with Professor Solus, but the Vorcha... I'm not so sure about them. I hope we can hold out here until the quarantine ends. Our supplies are already getting low. No funny business once you're in the pretty clinic. Pretty nice, uh... Those mechs. Pretty nice office you got back there. Honestly. Good call. Morden's around here somewhere. Uh, go talk to him. We need all the help we can get. Morden's around here somewhere. Uh, go talk to him. We need... Sorry, too busy to stop and chat. You should go find Morden. Sorry, too busy to stop and chat. You should go find Morden. You can change out your weapons if you need to. This clinic is a sanctuary. If you're looking for trouble, go somewhere else. Yes to both. This is probably the safest place in the district right now. We intend to keep it that way. The professor's got a few surprises cooked up in case the Vorcha decide to attack the clinic. Nice to hear. 
This clinic is a sanctuary. And she honestly You're seems for trouble, go pretty somewhere badass. Else. On our way here, we saw humans looting the apartments of the dead. It made me sick. I didn't realize how good things were in the district before the quarantine. Never thought I'd miss the Blue Suns. I didn't think this clinic would be crawling with so many of your kind. I would have thought twice about coming here. Harsh. On our way here, we saw humans looting the apartments of the dead. It made me sick. Morton saved my life. I owe him everything. Morton says you humans aren't to blame for the plague. But why aren't your kind getting sick? Why not ask? Not all humans are bad. The volunteers here have been very good to me. Yeah, why not ask Morton? Speaking of Morton. We're running low on Tapoxidin. Use Melanarin. Plenty on hand. Almost as good. It causes cramping of vegetarians. Supplement with butemerol. Malanarin and butemerol. Got it. Senazine is the catalyst. Bonds to genetic markers. Hard to find. Expensive to mass produce. Why not Heplicor? Too unstable. Inconsistent results. Demazine, better option. No, no, no. Demazine, toxic to humans. Not an option. Not an option. Here we go. Morden Solis. Professor Morden Solis. Hmm. Don't recognize you from area. Too well armed to be refugees. No mercenary uniform. Quarantine still in effect. Here for something else. Vorcha. Crew to clean them out. Unlikely. Vorcha a symptom, not a cause. The plague. Investigating possible use as bioweapon. No. No, no. Too many guns. Not enough data equipment. Soldiers. Not scientists. Yes, yes. Hired guns. Maybe. Looking for someone. Yes, Relax, yes. Morton. I'm Commander Shepard, and I came here to find you. I'm on a critical mission, and I need your help. Mission? What mission? No, 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 no. Too busy. Clinic understaffed. Plague spreading too fast. Who sent you? Yeah. Um, if you don't take either of those uh, interrupts, he will realize himself that you are there for him. It's a covert and privately funded human group. Related to plague. Doesn't affect humans. Human-centric interest. Few human groups would know me. Equipment suggests military origin. Not Alliance standard. Spectres. Not human. Terra firma. Too unstable. Only one option. Cerberus sent you. Unexpected. Uh, Morden is voiced in this game by Michael Beatty. And damn, I love Morden. You're very well informed. How did a Solarian scientist hear about Cerberus? Crossed paths on occasion. Thought they only worked with humans. Why request Solarian aid? The collectors are kidnapping entire human populations. We're gonna find out why and stop them. Collectors? Interesting. Plague hitting these slums is engineered. Collectors one of few groups with technology to design it. Our goals may be similar. But must stop plague first. Already have a cure. Need to distribute it at environmental control center. Vorcha guarding it. Need to kill them. Yeah, no problem. Just once I'd like to ask someone for help and hear them say, Sure, let's go, right now. No strings attached. Life is a negotiation. We all want. We all give to get what we want. <laughs> what the hell was that? Vorcha have shut down environmental systems. Trying to kill everyone. Need to get power back on before district suffocates. Here, take plague cure. Also, bonus in good faith, weapon from dead blue sun's marks. May come in handy against Vorcha. One more thing. Daniel, one of my assistants, went into Vorcha territory looking for victims. Hasn't come back. If I see him, I'll do what I can to help. Thank you. Told him not to go. But he's smart. Bright future. I hope. I found a Batarian plague victim near the entrance to the neighborhood. Can you send someone to help him? Hmm. Risky. Blue Suns, Vorcha still battling. District not secure. See what I can do. He is so... Like, such... A great... Way of speaking. What can you tell me about this plague? Hmm. Advanced design. Suspected collectors before you mentioned them. Purpose seems experimental. Destroys respiratory systems with harmful genetic mutations. Makes sense to avoid humans. Unnecessary to force mutation on human genetic structure for sake of variance. Unnecessary mutations? What are you talking about? Possible goal of virus. Testing viable mutation levels in various species. Horrific, but feasible for collectors. Humans known to have diverse genetic background, wider range than other sapient races. Makes sense as control group. 
on a side note, humans actually have uh, not a whole lot of uh, genetic diversity. Yeah, like uh, compared to other compared to other species, not sapient obviously because we don't know any sapient species. But compared to other species, humans have uh, not a lot of genetic diversity. What do you know about the Vorcha? Cowardly, opportunistic scavengers. Not tactical or aggressive. Scale of attack unusual for them. Suspect Vorcha working for collectors. Distributing plague, collecting data. No proof, but theory fits evidence. Any idea where I can find Daniel? No. Heard infected Batarians trapped behind Vorcha lines. Daniel went to help. Warned him not to go. Too dangerous. Patients here need him. Stuck out anyway. Wanted to find him myself. Can't leave the clinic. Have to look after the patients. Yeah, that just motor mouth is so cool. Like, it's so interesting. Have you had any trouble at the clinic? Nothing major. Blue Suns came for humans, made threats, killed them before things escalated. For a doctor, you're awfully calm about taking out a group of mercs. Wasn't always a doctor. Some work with Solarian Special Tasks group. Can handle myself. Advantage of being Solarian. Turians, Krogan, Vorcha, all obvious threats. Never see me coming. Yeah. He is a very Let's interesting man. Environmental plant. And, uh, yeah, new gun. Yes, good. Restore power. Release, cure. We'll be here when you return. Interesting. And that looks like everything I can uh, steal here. Hey. Hey, you. Come at me. Carnifex. Highly accurate and lethal sidearm. Effective against armor, weak against shields and biotic barriers. Upgrades the Predator Heavy Pistol. Uh, the Carnifex is a favored sidearm of mercenary leaders and equips mercenary tech specialists. An expensive but powerful weapon. Its marketing materials feature Charge and Krogan with the slogan, Don't you wish Carnifex was at your side? I'm forgetting to use the... Uh, I'll make sure to use the arc projectors in. So yeah, the Carnifex hits hard. Has the problem of having absolutely no damage. Enemies in front. <clears throat> yes. Oh. <clears throat> oh yeah, yeah. There's no ammo for the Carnifex. Here we go. Is uh, the only problem with it.
come. Okay, that got real close. So yeah, uh, the Carnifex has high damage, uh, but it does have just so little ammo, which is uh, a tough trade-off that Yeah, you can put the enemies down, but if you miss, there we go. Also, it kind of sucks not having a, uh... Oh shit, I forgot I had... I forgot I had Shockwave, damn it. I haven't really been getting as much... This hasn't really been doing as much as I'd hoped it would. I've been... Honestly, vaguely disappointed so far with, uh, with Singularity. Oops. I thought it was uh, a lot more useful than it has been so far. It might get better. Once I've uh, leveled up just a little bit more. I'm telling you the truth. I work for Morden at the clinic. I came here to help you. We know you're spreading the plague virus. We saw the vials in your bag. No, those vials contain the cure. Please, you have to believe me. Maybe we should cut off your fingers. That should loosen your... Look out! Don't move. One more step and we kill your friend. Nah. I know you're scared of the Vorcha, of the plague, but this man isn't to blame. If he was spreading the virus, why would he come into Vorcha territory? They're immune. She's right. Doesn't make any sense. If we release the prisoner, we can go. You have my word on it. Let him go. You got what you wanted, human. Are we free to go? Tempting, but no, I'm a, I'm a woman of my word. We had a deal. Human nobility. I didn't know such a thing existed. Thank you. I thought they were gonna... gonna kill me. Did Morden send you to find me? The professor could use your help right now. He's got too many patients and not enough volunteers. Yeah, okay. I'll go right away. Thanks again. I owe you... well... everything. I'm glad I was able to help him. Uh, oh, by the way, he is voiced by uh, Yuri Lowenthal, who is a hell of a uh, voice actor. Uh, 
probably best known at this point for playing Spider-Man. Can't kill me. Yeah, Spider-Man in the uh, PS4 Spider-Man game. Gear up. Yes, there's a door, but... I'm uh, pretty sure there's nothing over here. Got to refresh my ammo a little bit. Looks to be all of them here. I tried a shockwave, but unfortunately didn't do as mu quite as much good as I'd hoped. Not the right angle, I don't think, for it. No, there is not enough there. Or is there? What? 
Just gotta take a quick look around. Check all the nooks and crannies, all the corners. I feel like there should be something somewhere. Yeah, multiple ways to get down. But honestly. Probably a good idea to go down sooner than I did. Close to the environmental controls. Let's get that cure in, then hit the fans. And I'm sure it'll be as easy as that. Ah, you don't come here. We shut down machines, break fans. Everyone choke and die. Then collectors make us strong. Well, he just confirmed what was going on. It is, in fact, the collectors who are behind all this. Good to know. What do the collectors want? <sighs> collectors want plague. You work for doctor. Turn on machines. Put cure in air. We kill you first. Ah! We've been spotted. One of my very favorite things to do against Pyros uh, is to... You know what? To shoot their tanks so that they blow up. In. Once we get the fans going, we should be good. Have a nice trip! Not working. Come on over. Gotta pick a direction to go first. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, the giblets! I've got him! What's going up? Uh, I love blowing things up. Here, unfortunately, is where it gets tough. Here we go. Felt that one. And a Krogan, just to make it even more fun. Right now. Well, sounds like that guy's dead. I got cocky there. I wanted to shoot the uh, the ammo tank. Overloading their systems. Uh, I could use some ammo. That's it. I got cocky at a couple times. I I wanted to shoot that pyro uh, in the tank in the uh, in the tank. Both bands are up. That should be it. And yeah, that's the end of the mission. Environmental systems engaged. Airborne viral levels dropping. Patients improving. Vorcha retreating. Well done, Shepard. Thank you. And thank you for me as well. Those Batarians would have killed me. For a second there, I thought you were going to shoot them even after they let me go. 
I made a promise to spare them if they let you go. I honor my promises. Merciful of you. Risky. Would have killed them myself. Professor, how can you say that? You're a doctor. You believe in helping people. Lots of ways to help people. Sometimes heal patients, sometimes execute dangerous people. Either way helps. Go check on the patients. Lots of work to do. Think about what I said. He's unimpressed. Good kid, bit naive. He'll learn. Letting him take over the clinic should be able to handle it now that Vorja are gone. And yeah, uh, lots of ways to help people. Heal sick, heal sick patients. Execute. Execute people. Yeah. Morton's got an interesting philosophy. We've cured the plague. Are you ready to help stop the collectors? Yes. Unexpected to be working with Cerberus. Many surprises. Just need to finish up here at the clinic. Won't take long. Meet you at your ship. Looking forward to it. So am I. I'm gonna look around for a moment. Before I go... I... I know you. From the apartment. You found me. You told Morden about me, didn't you? You... You saved my life. Remember this the next time you're about to judge our species. I was wrong about you, human. I was wrong about a lot of things. I'm very happy to hear that. Look at me, making peace. The last time I saw you, you were too weak to move. Two of Morden's assistants found me. They gave me the vaccine and brought me back here once I was stable. They were humans, but they risked their lives to find me and bring me to safety. Glad to see you're okay. I owe you my life, human. Thank you. I am glad. Yeah, if you didn't pick everything up before, you can now, but there's nothing new to pick up. I can't believe Morden said all those things. I thought... I thought I knew him. I can't believe Morden no. said all those things. I thought... I thought I knew him. This clinic gave me sanctuary during the plague. I'll see if they need my help. Very noble of you. This clinic gave me sanctuary during the plague. I'll see if oh, they hey, need this, my help. These two. Thanks for bringing us here. You probably saved our lives. Thanks for bringing us here. With the Vorture gone, the Blue Suns should be able to regain control of the district. Things can get back to normal. With the Vorture gone, okay. Vorcha may be gone, but I still don't trust the Blue Suns. Not after what they did. The Vorcha may be gone, but I All still right. don't trust the Blue Suns. Not after what they did. It's going to be strange running the clinic without the Professor. But we'll get by. It's going to be strange. Things are going to be tough when Morden goes. I hope everyone here remembers everything we did for them. Things are going to be tough when Morden goes. I hope everyone here remembers everything we did for them. All right. Let us go. Recruited Dr. Morden Solis for the team. Examination of Omega Play Cure confirms Dr. Solis' expertise. Can also use work on Omega as leverage against Arya if necessary. Uh... Upgrade strength into weapons, mass and field generator. So yeah, assault rifle damage upgrade. Meta gel upgrade. All modern combat armor incorporates a first aid interface. Microprocessors in this interface monitor vital functions and release small localized doses of meta gel to accelerate the healing process. Manually timed heavy doses of, of meta gel can be released in response to major trauma. However. The efficiency of this is dependent on proprietary medical software that cannot be copied and is prohibitively expensive. Cerberus has developed its own software and is actively working to improve its efficiency. Oh, I must have missed a couple thousand credits. Usually, the credits you find are equal to the uh, funding you get from Cerberus.
Welcome to the Normandy, Professor. It's an honor to have you on board. Yes, very exciting. Cerberus working with aliens. Unexpected. Elusive man branching out, maybe? Not so human-centric. You're very well informed. Solarian government well-connected espionage experts had top-level clearance once, retired now. Still, hear things. Informed of name only, no knowledge of man behind it. Anti-alien reputation listed as problematic. Don't kid yourself, Professor. Humans still come first in the elusive man's eyes, but this mission is too big for them to handle alone. The Collectors are abducting human colonists out on the fringes of Terminus space. Mm, not simple abductions. Wouldn't need me for simple. Entire colonies disappear without a trace. No distress signals are sent out. There are no signs of any kind of attack. There's virtually no evidence that anything unusual happened at all. Except that every man, woman, and child is gone. Gas, maybe? No. Spreads too slow. Airborne virus? No. Slower than gas. Drug water. You don't have to sit there and guess. We collected samples from one of the colonies. I'd like you to analyze them and figure out how the collectors did this. Yes, of course. Analyze the samples. I'm going to need a lab. There is a fully equipped lab on the combat deck, Professor Solis. If you find anything lacking, please place a requisition order. Who's that? Pilot? No. Synthesized voice. Simulated emotional inflections. Could it be? No. Maybe. Have to ask. Is that an AI? He's very smart and observant. And good at just working things out. The ship is equipped with an artificial intelligence. An AI on board. Non-human crew members. Cerberus more desperate than I thought. The Collectors have taken tens of thousands of colonists. We'll do whatever we have to do to find and stop them. Yes, of course. Can't risk being captured like colonists need to identify neutralized technology. Need samples. Which way to the lab? Follow me, Professor. Yay! Successfully recruited the Professor. Ooh, shotgun. Alright. While I'm here, let's... Let's do that. Meta gel capacity, let's do that. Let rifle damage, man. Trauma module, a standard first aid interface can stabilize a badly wounded soldier, preventing death from all but the most serious wounds. The base technology, however, is ineffective with conscious soldiers who are currently taking fire as each pain signal resets the process. The trauma module separates the metagel administration into two layers, active and passive. The active layer constantly distributes small amounts of metagel to fresh wound sites. The passive layer handles major deployments to incapacitating wounds when large amounts of metagel are deployed to incapacitate squad, mem squad members. Fighting members are also healed. Which I can't get right now. Cerberus Assault Armor. This was DLC. Collector ri Assault Rifle. DLC. Collector Chitin Army Armor. Uh, DLC. Inferno Armor. DLC. Eviscerator Shotgun. DLC. Avalanche. DLC. Missile Launcher. Not DLC. Uh, so let's see here. Negotiation bonus, that's for charm and intimidate. Tech and biotic power damage could be useful. Uh, built specifically for Cerberus field officers, the Inferno armor has a VI dedicated to recognizing signs of stress and medical trauma. This application helps assess soldiers, but can be useful in any high-risk situations. The Inferno's, the, the Inferno's microframe computer also manages biotic amp and elemental power, and microservers help the weak bearer's movement to counteract the armor's weight. Cerberus adapted this suit for you out of salvaged collector technology. The collector's chitinous armor is flexible and even tougher than ballistic fibers. Its organic construction allows it to be self-healing, and the muscle-like tissue that assists movement ensures it is comfortable to wear despite its weight. Tempting. 
Cerberus Assault Armor is designed for shock troops who are expected to turn the tide of battle against creatures or forces that would decimate normal soldiers. The troops demanded three things in its design. Shields and armor thick enough to last against a superior foe, and a rechargeable pack to extend a heavy weapon power cell. The only drawback of the armor is its weight, which the troops carry as a point of pride. They have a saying, out of shape going in, in shape coming out. Thing. Collector's main weapon uses the same principles as a human assault rifle, but its organic components clearly set it apart. Its power source seems to be an internal organ with biotic capacitance. Its ammunition resembles pellets of metallic enamel that strip shields off enemies with deadly efficiency. Gonna get the uh, missile launcher. Not gonna use it on the next mission, but I'll try to use it uh, soon, just to show it being used. Uh, missile launchers are surfacing with increasing frequency among the Terminus system's mercenary bands, but their origin is unknown. Each projectile features a friend or foe recognition system, ensuring it will find a hostile target, though not necessarily the one in the crosshairs. In urban situations, it is useful for taking out snipers and other entrenched enemies, so it is popular with the Blue Sun's mercenary band. It is nearly impossible to duplicate as it uses fabrication rights management technology. Mass Effect 1 was uh, pretty notorious for its digital rights management. Uh, a lot of people, it was pretty strict, uh, unnecessarily so, to the point that it uh, screwed over a lot of people. A lot of people got pissed off. Should I get the Yeah, why not? Don't have enough left for the uh The Liebershaft 2180 shotgun or eviscerator is of human civilian design that has a unique ammunition generator. Where most modern firearms shave off chips or pellets from an ammunition block, the M22 shaves off serrated metal wedges designed to fly aerodynamically. This dramatically improves its armor piercing capabilities and its tight grouping helps wound ballistics at longer ranges than standard shotguns. This design also violates several inter intergalactic weapons treaties, so the M22 is not distributed to militaries. I'll get that for Jacob. And these things... Shields and health might be useful. Regen and health might be useful. Heck and biotic power damage might be useful. I'll hold off just for now. Shepard, how can I help? Is the lab working well for you? Quite satisfactory. Found a few surveillance bugs. Destroyed most of them. Returned expensive one to Miranda. Nothing unexpected. Just need more samples. More collector data, tissue samples, anything you can get, I can use. Find new tech. I love his little laugh when he mentions the surveillance devices. Like, he's just so, like... He seems to find it naive that they thought they could get it past him. Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. No squad concerns to report. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. Upgrade. Every squad member has an upgrade of some sort. Some help them, some are for the Any ship. Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the collectors? Ideas, yes. Expensive, but possibly valuable. Can show you. In Morton's case, an Omnitool. 20% uh, tech power damage. Morton built his own Omnitool and can make significant upgrades given the proper materials. Uh, so... There are indications that Morden may have been intended, uh, uh, originally intended to have biotic abilities as well, uh, but he is pure tech in this in the uh, the game itself. Shepard, how can I help? Any ideas on other? Sorry, rest? have done what I can. Focusing on studying collector tech now. There we go. Have you got a minute to talk? Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with. Plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with a budget. AI in particular. Very helpful. Best setup I've seen since work with Special Tasks Group. 
Is your assistant Daniel settling in all right? Quite well. Safe and secure. Neighborhood mostly quiet with plague gone. Left him the security mechs just in case. Can't be too careful. Also tired of mechs. Noisy. Never used them in STG. I can imagine they'd be noisy. It must have been frustrating working on Omega with such a limited facility. No, loved it. Limited facility presents challenge. Save greatest number of people using limited resources. Security threats, gangs, mercenary groups add additional difficulty. Quite enjoyable. The plague stretched abilities to limit. Couldn't have asked for more. Also, enjoy saving people, of course. Helping the helpless, greater good, all that too. Nice retirement after SDG work complete. I <laughs> like how saving people is an afterthought. It does, like, he is a good person. He does, obviously he does enjoy helping people, but he really enjoys the challenge and it sort of highlights the kind of person, that person he is. Tell me more about the Solarian Special Tasks Group. Respected organization. Clandestine. Handles difficult assignments with limited oversight. Recon, analysis, occasional wet work, identify problems, have neutralization options ready should need arise. Model for Council Spectres based on Special Tasks Group. Very similar. Similar in what way? Solarians lack numbers, brute strength, military prowess, have to rely upon stealth, intelligence. Agents trusted, given wide operative freedom. Spectres similar, given goal, told to accomplish. Better, funded, of course. <laughs> Didn't have to buy our own weapons. <laughs> Yeah, there's a sh that is a uh, bit of a shot at uh, at Mass Effect One. You said you were in the special tasks group. What kind of research were you doing? Not simply research. Several recon missions, covert, high risk, served under young captain named Kirihi. Studied Krogan genophage, took water, tissue samples from Krogan colonies. I worked with an STG captain named Kirihi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Burmeyer. Heard he was part of that. Jury rigged explosive. <laughs> Always got job done with limited resources. Good captain. Bit of a cloaca, though. Loved his speeches. Hold the line. Personally prefer to get job done and go home. Probably military bravado. Jargon. Chest pounding. Uh, no offense. Yeah, cloaca. Uh... That's basically him calling Gary an ass. An asshole. Uh, I mean, that's basically what it is. Uh, a cloaca is uh, more specific to really birds, reptiles, amphibians, fish as well. Uh, Basically, it is where those creatures, where uh, some animals poop from. Uh, basically. So, uh, they're not the same, of course. But, yeah, basically just calling him an asshole. Which is uh, pretty funny. Why would STG study the genophage? Krogan Rebellion's bloody, dangerous, nearly as bad as Rachni attacks. All species evolve, adapt, mutate. If genophage weakens, need to be prepared. What was the STG preparing to do? Military schematics for likely Krogan population growth, political scenarios for attack points. Genophage reduced Krogan numbers. Species aggression unchecked, population explosion would be disastrous. STG helped check Krogan Rebellions, needed to be ready to do the same. Simple recon, nothing to worry about. Not sure I fully believe him here. What can you tell me about the genophage? Bioweapon designed by Solarian science team, deployed by Turians against Krogans to end Krogan rebellions more than a thousand years ago, affects every cell of Krogan body. Commonly and incorrectly considered a sterility plague. Actually adjusts viable fertility rates to compensate for high Krogan birth rate, stabilizes to pre-industrial population growth levels. Nice talking with you, Morden. I should get back to work. Need to study. So much data. Here if you need me. Uh, Chuck, so. how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Not now. Working on collector data. Have ruled out artificially intelligent virus. Unless it's very intelligent. And toying with me. Hmm. Tests. Anything else? I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. So every squad mate, when they don't have anything to talk about, 
gets a line like that, Morden has the best ones. And the most. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Sounds good. Have to say you run this ship tight, and we're getting things done. We keep on track and maybe we'll figure this out. I hope so. I'm not looking forward to the debrief if it all goes to hell. Is there something specific? Or are you just checking in? I like to know my crew. Forget procedure. Tell me about yourself. Informal, huh? Everything's in my file. Ex-Alliance like you, no Reapers or anything, but I got swept under the rug too. The more good you do, the less they want to admit that something needed doing. What was your proudest career moment? Oh, uh, covered this, didn't we? It was after getting sidelined. A Batarian group was plotting to release a weaponized virus and kill the Council. Miranda and I stopped it. Strange that it wasn't bigger news. The real work doesn't get publicized, you know that. They say it's better that people don't know how fragile the system is or how close the bad guys can get. So, it never happened. Like you and the Reaper. And that's why I'm here. What led you to yeah. Cerberus? The Alliance sidelined me after Eden Prime. Ended up on a job with Miranda that Cerberus treated like an audition. And here I am. You don't seem like a results at all costs kind of guy. Cerberus history doesn't bother you? The Alliance is all politics. Somebody has to take down the bad people. Cerberus keeps that line, I'm on their side. Yeah, you look like you came through no worse for wear. If nothing else, the Alliance trains their people well. Once you live that life, you can't sit around getting fat. Most of us didn't get a Cerberus rebuild. They outdid themselves with you. Ask for any upgrades? I'm glad enough they restored me to stock. Couldn't hurt to keep some spare parts handy, though. I hear that. Your job isn't getting any safer. You know, I used to wonder what the big deal with you was. But now that we're in deep, I'm glad it's not me in the spotlight. There's no hiding, Jacob. Not for any of us. Don't worry. This is exactly what I signed on for. If that's all, Commander, I'll get back to my duties. There's a lot to get ready. Uh, you can romance Jacob. His romance is considered probably the worst in the game. Yeah, I'm using the... That's right, I'm using that next. Like, not even joking. It's considered, like, the worst romance in the, in the trilogy, Commander, actually. Commander, you received a new message at your private terminal. Like, worst romance in the trilogy. Hands down, it's not even close. Earlier when we spoke, you were very open with me. I like that. But I hope I didn't come across as too flirty. I don't want to overstep my bounds. You're very charming, Kelly. Thank you. The feeling is mutual. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Yeah. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Unread messages. Come, uh, healing of your facial scars. Commander, I've done further investigation regarding your facial scarring, and the old adage of mind over matter holds true. Negative attitudes and aggressive acts create adverse reactions with your cybernetic implants, while peaceful thoughts and compassionate actions promote healing. If you maintain a positive outlook, I believe your facial scarring will heal on its own. Otherwise, there is surgical equipment we could use to insulate your cybernetic implants and accelerate your healing regardless of your mental outlook. I've updated plans for the new medical equipment here, or I've updated plans for the new medical equipment here research terminal in Tech God. Sincerely, Checklist. Normandy crash site located. So normally, you get this right away. Like, as soon as you have access to the Normandy, you get this, uh, this message. The mod I updated, or the mod I installed for delaying DLC. Uh, the reason they put a delay on this is basically to give with the logic of, hey, it gives the Alliance time to hear about Shepard being alive. Matt Hackett, Commander Shepard, our scans in the Amada system have turned up something we thought you should see. The final location of the wreckage of the SSV Normandy. We thought this news might be important to you, but we also have an ulterior motive. 
the Alliance would like you to honor the Normandy with a monument to be built on the site of the ship's final resting place. We'd like to invite you to place the monument and be the first to walk on the site. There are still 20 crew members unaccounted for from the attack on the Normandy. If you find any signs of those, these lost crewmen, we ask that you report to the Alliance so that those heroes' families might find some closure. Godspeed to you, Commander. Hey, Joker. Primary system's clear. Yep, he always starts off with uh, something professional. I've been thinking about taking up bullfighting. What do you think? <laughs> I wonder how many of these are just Seth Green just ad-libbing. And how many of them he ad libbed if you, you know did. what I could go for right now? A hamburger. Not fat grown, an actual honest to god dead cow. With horseradish. Ugh, horseradish. No thanks. I gotta hit the head, Commander. We done for now, or do I have to use the bottle I keep under here? You? Commander. I assume everything's going well up here? We're just having an argument over personalization of my workspace. Cerberus regulations are clear, Mr. Moreau. Personalization does not include grease on my bridge cameras. It's just mad that all its footage of me looks like a dream sequence. <laughs> That's it for now. See you, Commander. That's a pretty good prank. I'll give you that one, Joker. That's a solid prank. Have a quick chat with Miranda, and then a quick chat with uh, Zaid. Uh, not going to finish the mission. I'm not going to do... The FBA couplings or uh, ice brandy just yet. Commander, what can I do for you? Have you got any ideas for potential upgrades we could make? A few ideas, yeah. Yeah, take a look. Which I can't get, but it doesn't matter. The AIM droid group's proprietary Argus planet scan technology has been integrated into the ship's systems. This will greatly speed up the planet scanning process. It does be, it does make a difference, but obviously I got the mod anyway. And uh, dermal regeneration. Upgrade the Normandy's medical facilities with an advanced dermal regeneration unit. Using this unit will immediately and completely heal your scars. Further scarring will not occur, regardless of the actions you take. 50,000 platinum. That's a lot. That's honestly a lot of platinum. Uh, for something that only matters for... It, this is basically a punishment for uh, Renegade Shepherds. Is what it is. It's basically something that will only apply to Renegade Shepherds. Paragon Shepherds, their scars are going to heal completely anyway. Renegade Shepherds, their scars don't heal. So if you don't want to look like an evil glowing robot, an evil glowing cyborg, uh, then you need that. So yeah, it's... Whenever you have the time and resources, let me know. It's garbage. Do you have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. I've done As one mission. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. I've got... I've done one mission so far. But hey, nothing... You know, they haven't had any of their experiments turned on them yet. Maybe that's because this isn't a Cerberus operation. Not to you, maybe. But I report directly to the elusive man. And I'm here because he wants me to be. Cerberus gave you a second chance, Commander. Maybe you should do the same for us. What did Cerberus do that made you so loyal? Hmm. I suppose you deserve to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father created me. 
He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. How bad were the terms you and your father parted on? Shots were fired. Pretty bad, then. <laughs> um, yeah, that's, uh, that's some bad terms. I mean, depending on your family. I'm pretty sure if you're from, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure there are some states where that's just a regular family reunion. I'm joking. You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his investments. I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture. And I feel like I have a purpose here. Talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used by your father, by Cerberus. Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. So clearly she's got some hang-ups about uh, the genetic engineering. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. Well, that's kind of a sad... Sad thing for her to Who say. Who exactly is your father? A businessman but a very wealthy one. It's ironic, my father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus before I joined them. That's how I first heard about Cerberus, through my father's connections. Talk about yourself like no, you're Maybe. Just, you are who you That's, are, Miranda. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. You've told I'm me great. a lot about your father. What happened to your mother? I never had one. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. Yeah, he sounds like a peach, all right. Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Anytime, Commander. You can tell that she is starting to loosen up a little bit. To... I mean, part of it is absolutely necessity, um, but yeah, you can tell that she's starting to thaw a bit to, uh, yeah. I'm spying on you, Gardner. There's the engine, main battery. CIC. Uh, I think that's another angle of the CIC. The, uh, the mess hall. Hallway. I think the one that led to, uh, I think that might have been the hallway that leads to, what's it? Uh, oh, right, the, uh, crew quarters. Oh, there's Joker. Uh, that is the life support area. Med Bay, I think. Beauty, isn't it? Pride that off the Krogan warlord, Gazak. Used to run the blood pack out of Omega about 17 years ago. Wasn't even a job. The guy just thought he'd hijack a freighter I was hitchhiking on. Big mistake. I goaded Gazak into one-on-one -on -one combat. Took out his legs, grabbed his gun, and killed every blood pack bastard in the room. That was the most beaten Krogan I've ever seen. Kept the helmet to remind me of that pained expression. Yeah. Whee! The 
This serves absolutely no purpose, but. Whee! Yeah, Zaid has no full conversations. Thinking about past missions. Got a minute. You might learn something. Just this. I was trying to remember how many Cerberus operatives I've killed. Lost track around 50. Guess your elusive man's big on forgiveness. Get a knife stuck in the right way, and you can pull that plate right off a of Krogan's head. It's the best way to get a Krogan to talk. The threat of it drives him mad. Don't think I need to know that, but sure, thanks. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Oh yeah, that's a model of the Varakan. Turin frigate. Hell of a ship. I led a mission to bring that thing down from the inside with just five men and whatever guns we could bring. No chance of success, but we did it. Everyone died but me. So I made out like a bandit. My first impossible mission as an independent contractor. There's been many since, but nothing so goddamn sweet as watching that Turian warship crash planet side. The rifle I'll do another time. Actually. Before I do... Well, I'm not going to actually talk to them right now, but let's just... I've got green across the board. The forward tanks are buoyant and elevated. Are you talking about the Normandy or Miranda? I'm talking about the one that's covered and protected, not bouncing in the breeze. I don't know. Operative Lawson's uniform is very official. It always makes me stand at attention. You're such a dog. Yeah. Ken's kind of a pig. So I remembered I wanted to uh, eavesdrop on this conversation. It's just too dangerous for them in New Canton. I'm shipping my family back to Earth. You can afford that? Uh, Cerberus looks out for their own. They're funding the transport for me. It's the least they can do when we're putting our lives on the line. Exactly. All right. Did I pick up any new, uh... I don't think I did, did I? Yep, you can see a couple of new models here. Yeah, nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing, nothing, nothing. N7 chest plate. Interlocking plates of thick ablative ceramic plates. Okay. Designed to be light, effective, and easily repaired. Increase the power damage by thirty percent uh, by three percent. Curved shell of a blade of ceramic over kinetic padding. Increase the weapon damage by three percent. N seven gauntlet gauntlets. A combination of fabric armor with kinetic padding and plates of a blade of ceramics for protection. Increase health by three percent. Dual layer of fabric armor and kinetic padding beneath thick plates of a blade of ceramic and lined with additional kinetic barrier em emitters. Shield strength by three percent. Yeah, you can get an indication of uh, how many models that uh, you can get here. And obviously there's shelving here. And oh, hey, yeah, my bathroom. Shepard gets her own bathroom. Perks of being command. I need to go to the Citadel to get my first fish. Any new codex entries? Yes. Here we go. Although they resemble a mammal reptile cross, the Vorcha have no terrestrial analog. They are humanoid in form, but Vorcha have clusters of non-differentiated neoblast cells. 
like those of Earth's planarian worms. Damaged Vorcha cells mature into specialized structures to alleviate injury or stress. Transformations include thicker skin following injury, lung adaptation for barely breathable atmospheres, and stronger cardioskeletal muscle under high gravity. Skull capacity and brain size do not change, and Vorcha rarely make more than one somatic overhaul. Vorcha assault each other frequently, causing their young to gain strength, intelligence, and resilience. As a result, Vorcha see inflicting and receiving pain as normal communication. Few Vorcha study professions, in part because their average life expectancy is only 20 years. Because Vorcha can eat and breathe nearly anything, they can live almost anywhere. But racism prevents them from integrating into most societies that dismiss them as vermin. They have few employment options beyond Krogan mercenary bands. Yeah, that's very interesting. Like that's they're a really interesting race. Highly adaptive, but they don't live very long. Half as long as a Solarian does. Uh, which yeah, it doesn't leave them much time to learn anything. Based on existing technology. The ML-77 is a rapid-fire missile launcher using seeking projectiles. Each projectile features a friend or foe recognition system, ensuring it will find a hostile target even if the user's aim is not completely accurate. The weapon excels at taking out snipers and other entrenched enemies in dense urban environments. This makes it popular with mercenary groups, particularly the Blue Sun's mercenary band. Missile launchers have been appearing with increasing frequency in the Terminus system, but their point of manufacture is unknown. Legal duplication of missile launchers is difficult due to Fabrication Rights Management, FRM, technology. And nothing here. All right. Sounds useful for now. And then I'll save up next to uh, I'll save up for biotic mastery just because uh, yeah, useful. Throw is likely to be the skill that I don't bother investing in because, uh, like I said earlier, you don't have you're not going to be able to max out everything, um, and getting the fourth point in something can be very useful. Alright, so, yeah, this uh, is a great place to finish the episode. Uh, so I have done one mission. Next up, Archangel. Oh. That's all. Yeah, Morden doesn't get a uh, bonus uh, skill. Oh, bonus outfit, I mean. Yeah. Near disade. And, uh, yeah, incinerate, cryoblast, neural shock. Uh, some machine guns and heavy pistols, same as Miranda. So, not much of a fighter. But still pretty useful. All right, yeah, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you're enjoying yourself and uh, have a great day.